Hello, this is the Trades at U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday the 28th and Friday the 29th of March 2019. Hope you had a good trading week. As usual, we don't typically do a market preview for Fridays. This one will be no exception because this is the end of the quarter, so you would expect Friday to be basically a locked-in day where they try to print their statements and get their bonuses for the quarter. Thursday might be an update just to try to get a little extra money on their bonuses, so we'll see what happens. Um, anything's possible. We do have the Brexit stuff out there, and you just never know how it's going to play out. So let's talk about the uh, markets, then we'll talk about the intraday action, then we'll talk about the economic data coming out the last two days of the week. So here's the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. Not much to say. It was a pretty flat day from that perspective. Uh, let's go through the major indices, and then we'll go through the intraday action. So crude oil down eight cents to 59.33. Gold down a buck ninety. None of these matter. Very small moves. S and P cash loses 13.09. It was lower during the day. The Nasdaq 100 down 42.96. Socks down 20.27. Remember, the Socks has made its way almost all the way back to new highs. Closes down 20.27. The biotech's down 47.97. It's almost at two-month lows. Actually, almost at lows since January 1st, if you really look at it, which is interesting. Asgo Banks and Biotechs, so goes the market. Russell 2000 down five. Uh, the VIX 47 cents up at 15.15. Trend 1.77. That's a high reading on the trend. Puts the 10-day moving average at 1.15. NASDAQ volume 2.2 billion shares. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, negative 453, so more stocks down than up. On the New York, negative 205, so more stocks down than up. Google loses 1183. Apple up a buck 68. Netflix down $6.60. Amazon down 18.06. Tesla up 706. Facebook down buck 81. Goldman Sachs down 66 cents. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF up a buck 15. Look at this thing just break out to new highs. That's good for interest rates. The Dow was down 32 points, so we don't really look at the Dow, but note the 13 sell signal that was there a couple weeks ago. We're still holding that in place. Uh, in terms of the intraday action, notice this. So we gap up small, fill the gap, tried to come back up, almost got to new highs for the day and didn't, rolled over, and by, you know, almost. Just 30 minutes, but two hours into the day, you're basically sitting flat. And then we dipped a little bit and kept going, heading into lunch. We got bottomed out right when lunchtime started. So they basically sold everything off, filled the gap from the prior day, and then they went to lunch. And then we just kind of recovered and went back to the VWAP midpoint area. And that's that. Um, all right. So in terms of economic data, um, There's not much. Well, there's a few things left for the week. Um, Thursday, we've got the final GDP number. That's the third look for the uh, fourth quarter of last year. And the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers. That's an hour before the bell. Pending home sales, 30 minutes in. Natty gas, an hour in. P Core PC price index at 8.30, personal income and spending at 8.30, Chicago PMI, this is on Friday, uh, 9.45, revised University of Michigan sentiment, new home sales at 10, revised, and then uh, there's a couple Fed members speaking. So that's it to wrap up the week. But again, the key is it's the end of quarter, and uh, we will see what we get from there. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading.